Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another unboxing for your creative studio. This is the May 2023 box and I think they told me it is tropical. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with prop tropical right now in the end of September, but um, we will pre-make ephemera for a later season, but um, we'll see what's in it and see what we can do about it. I'm thinking about doing some kind of scrap busting, scrap busting kind of project. So that'll be in the second half of the video, but in the first half we will go ahead and do the unboxing. So I already cut it open just because I don't like to fiddle with scissors on camera. So... And I do save these boxes, at least some of them, because you could use, you could do a journal in a box. It's a perfect size for a journal in a box. So let's see what the dimensions are, just for kicks. So it's nine inches wide by by six. Perfect size for a journal. But the reason why it works is because you can unfold the entire box, cover it with paper, and then fold it all back together, and you're, you're golden. I mean, this is amazing. I would cut this, uh, I would probably cut off, um, yeah, I'm not sure how I would do that, but I'm toying around with that idea. So here we go. Let's get this over here. So we've got our beautiful packaging paper, which I absolutely adore. Always struggle to get off without ripping the paper. Oh, there we go. Rip, rip. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Let me just remove this pa backing paper. So, what is this? Oh, these are like tickets. Let me open up. This, these are very versatile. So, we've got, look at all these tickets. These are fantastic. Fantastic. I wonder. So, I hope they, oh, there are stickers. Oh, look. Oh, no. Something stuck. Um, they are stickers. So I'm going to rip that one off, though, because I don't want it tearing anything else. That was unfortunate, but it happens. So those are cool. They are stickers. They'd be great for clusters and other things. They'd also be great for a hidden paper clip. They, it says it's tropical, but boy, this is, or at least that's what they said in the message. I'm not sure if that's true. We'll find out. But they are very versatile. I mean, in terms of color, they're, oh, this one's gorgeous. Look at this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I am in love already. So we've got some of the transparent stickers. Oh, these, we've got our birds. So here's our tropical. So these are pretty cool. I always forget to use them, but they are transparent, which is fun. And oh, we've got some flamingos. Aren't those adorable? Oh my gosh, they're cute. Look at the little tiny envelopes in there. How fun is that? Oh, look at the tropical birds. Now I can see why it's called a tropical paper pad or subscription box. So let me just see if I can pull these out. Very, very cute. These would be adorable in a spring journal or a summer journal. Those are gorgeous. Definitely not my normal aesthetic, but wow, beautiful. I will make those work. So these are stamps. Oh, these are gorgeous. My, my, my roses. I love my roses. Boy, we've got some stickage problems in this. That's kind of weird. I've never experienced that before. So look at these. Look at those stamps. They're absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Very versatile. And then let's go ahead and open this is... I don't know because it's not in English. Oh, beautiful papers. Look at this, guys. I'm going to turn it this way so I can kind of flip. Oh, very, very pretty. Oh, look at that. Super, super versatile. I love this. Definitely very, very useful stuff. These would make great paper clips, too. Look at the fish. <gasps> That's awesome. Very, very cool. I love it. Oh, beautiful magnolia. Awesome. I was thinking it would be all tropical, so I'm kind of happy that 
some of it is just um, you know beautiful florals and stuff because that's that's more my my style but okay let's see if we can get this open Karen eh? I said I didn't want to fiddle with with uh, scissors on camera I'm gonna grab my fussy cut scissors because they are less dangerous I love these boxes too. I have dreams of making a tiny journal to put inside of here. It just opens <laughs> like that. So cool. Oh, these are more labels. Beautiful stuff. I'm just going to rip that bag. Make it easier to get these out stuff out of the way. Oh, look at these. Very pretty. Very interesting. I love that. I love the vintage look of these. Very, very pretty. Oh, I love the ovals. These are good. I always forget to use these little bits, though. Can't quite tell what that is. Hmm. That's okay. And then we've got, oh, that's an interesting shape. Very, very beautiful. I need to, I need to incorporate more labels into my work. I don't tend towards that, but there's always room for improvement. So I'm going to move these a second because it looks like we've got some stamps. And I do like to oh, save this bag or envelope. There we go. What do we have? Oh, look at the toucan. Toucan. Is it toucan? I love it. I love it. <laughs> so cute. And then a pineapple. Awesome. So if you guys are watching and you know how these stamps are supposed to work, I cannot figure them out. Somebody told me that this will stick to your, you know, to a stamp platform or whatever, but it doesn't. I have to put, um, I have to put glue on here um, to get it to stick. So I don't know what I'm missing. I'm not, I'm not sure um, unless the person who told me that was was not um, not correct. But um, if you know, please please share it. I would love to know. I mean, I make use of them. It doesn't stop me, but I just don't know how they're supposed to work. Another stamp. Ooh, several stamps. Oh, look at the big one. Look at the big flamingo. I have a friend at work who loves flamingos. Isn't that so sweet? So sweet. And then, oh, that's very nice. A little tropical leaf. Perfect. And then what we what do we have here? Math. This says masking tape. This is not tape. Interesting. Interesting assessment. And usually there's more than one piece in here, but I guess this is like tissue paper. It's probably just mis mis um, marked, but that's really pretty too. Look at that. Very very lovely. We have another stamp. It looks like. I have so many of these envelopes, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I need to do a crash of trash. Oh, there we go. So washi. So let's see what this looks like in real life. Very cool. It looks like it's tropical. I see some tropical leaves. Very, very nice. Love it. Oh, we've got some beautiful papers here. What is, oh, this is a cool packaging. Don't you, don't you love it when we get things and we're like, oh, the packaging is the best part. <laughs> it's, the, the, it, it's real. The, the problem is real. <laughs> oh, this is an awesome pocket. Definitely going to repurpose that. Look at that. It doesn't even need anything. It can just be, I would probably cover up this down here, but look at that. That is an amazing pocket. It could actually be just clipped into a journal. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. Free ephemera. Oh, these are cool. Are they stickers? I think they're stickers. 
Usually you can tell by the white of the paper on the back, but oh my goodness, these just do not. There we go, yeah, it's, it's a sticker. Let me see if I can pull a little bit off here. See what they look like. It's like washi stickers. That is amazing. Look at that. Very beautiful. Let me hold these up so I can kind of show you what they look like. We're upside down. Oh, so beautiful. I love this. Look at all the florals. Some botanical kind of looking stuff. Some stamps. Very, very cool. Oh, I love the roses. Oh my goodness. Roses are my are my heart. In case I haven't said that before, I, I say it all the time. Very cool. Oh, I love that one. But love I love it. It's like a washi tape that is that is wide or um, wider than normal. That's not one. Let me show you here. So it's wider than normal washi tape. So that's pretty epic. That's beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, look at that. So pretty, your creative studio. You just knock it out of the park every single every single month. So let's see what is here. It looks like some flamingo paper. So these always contain four sticker papers, four vellum, four, or six, sorry, six, six sticker, six vellum, six art, and six pattern. So let's take a peek at this. I love their papers so much. <laughs> Pink flamingos are, oh, that's adorable. Very cool. I have to make, may have to make my friend a little journal out of this stuff because um, to be quite honest, I'm not a flamingo person. It's adorable, but you know, I can make use of this. Like the kit, the, the box itself has so much variety that even if flamingos were not your thing, um, you know, you could, like I said, I have a friend who loves flamingos. Maybe I would make her a flamingo journal. So very, very cool. Very cool. Oh, that's a beautiful image. Awesome. 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 So that is it for um, this part. I will come back and uh, in the next segment and I will create something with you using some of these supplies. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we go. So I decided we're going to do a little bit of an envelope flip. I'm using fairly small envelopes. Let me just grab my ruler and show you the sizes here. So I've already pre-cut all the papers, which is normal for me. So I'll show you those in a second. But we've got um, the small envelope here on the front and I already put them together. If you want to see how I do that, I have many videos on my channel uh, for envelope journals. So three and a quarter by three and a quarter. This one is for just under four and a half by five and three quarters. So we have two of this size. So we've got them this way. I just slid the a flap into this one and then we've got a smaller envelope here that measures uh, it looks like three and five eighths by five and an eighth so we're just gonna do this little um, little flippy journal um, I will I completely forgot to get my papers to do a signature I am gonna put a small signature in here we'll see how time goes we might still do that on camera but um, we'll have to wait and see I um, I'm resting a lot, so I kind of got a little disconnected between doing the first part with the unboxing and then coming back to this, so my apologies. So here are all of our pieces. I do like to pre-cut them for the, uh, for the video. Some of these are actual sticker papers because in the, in the subscription box you get four of each kind of paper, and so I wanted to use some of the images more than once, and so I had to tap into some other uh, some other paper. So this is the sticker paper which is going to work fine because it is the back panel. So I'm going to reverse these because I want to go in the right order here. So I'm kind of off camera, sorry. And then we've got these and then this is our front. So I did decide um, I'm not a flamingo person at all. So I decided I'm kind of off camera here, goodness gracious. Um, I am going to make this tiny little journal for my my coworker that I talked about in the earlier in earlier in the video. So, 
So what I've done here is I have the flamingo here, which is panel one outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink all these pieces, come back to you and we will start gluing them on. And this is the last piece. <clears throat> so um, I'll show you as I use these papers, uh, what the, which paper they are, because um, some of them I'm covering the envelopes are that really, really thin paper, which is fine. It's going to be um, okay. So here we go. So we're going to start with this one. Um, this is the panel, panel one outside. So we're going to go ahead and just glue that on. I like to use my Fabri-Tac so I have room to time to move it. It's awfully cute, even though I'm really not a really not a flamingo person, but my coworker is. So <laughs> thought that this would be fun. I'm not making anything on camera to go in the pockets, but I will do that um, before I give it to her. So, so that is the first one. This is panel two, so it's gonna go right here. So as I've mentioned in other videos, you do have to make sure that you guard this area in here because you don't wanna get glue here, otherwise you affect the pocket. So um, we were, and we're open on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and Put, um, I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue just so I can control uh, this uh, pretty small space right here. So I'm going to put art glitter glue just right here. If I can get it to unplug. Come on. There we go, like that. And then I'm just going to go around. Um, that's not working. I do not like art glitter glue, you guys. It's always problematic. So I'm just filling in all of this area here, going right up to that edge, and then along the bottom or side here. And then I think we need more of the art glitter glue here because that doesn't appear to be quite enough. There we go, there she comes. And I missed a spot here. Okay. And so now when you put this on, we're going to be able to retain our pocket a little bit better. Like so. Let me grab a paper towel. I forgot. I'm just going to press that down. I've got some oozing glue, so try to keep my hands from getting too sticky. There we go. So that's awfully cute. <laughs> It's adorable. I thought maybe she could put it in her bag or something. Oh, you know what? I just forgot. Ah, uh, I wanted to put the closure on here. Let me see if I can release this. Doggone it. I wanted to put some seam binding here. Let's see if we can move this enough without tearing it. I don't know if we can. Oh, I just tore it. Okay, well, we're going to have to come up with a different solution for the closure. Boo. Boo hoo. So that's that, and then this is panel two front, and I've got some bits over here from the box that I will be pulling out to put on these planar, planar panels. So this is one of the sticker papers, so. So hopefully that's gonna hold. I didn't put any glue underneath it, should be okay. So that's that. So let's go ahead and pull out one of our little die cuts. So um, we've got this one, this pineapple. I think the pineapple is adorable. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Let's see what else we've got that would work on that little, the little envelope there. Oh, look at the heart. I didn't even see that. That's adorable. It's a little bit too big there. Some of these pieces are too big for that little envelope, but oh, this is very cool too. I think I like that better. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up really quick. So cute. I wonder if we should put some lace or something underneath that. Let me grab, or some um, some gauze. So let me grab my little my little bin over here. I get a little bit of a moving around in here, so now I have to remember where everything is. I just moved my scrap. Like scrap stuff and I'm sorry I'm off camera right now but I'm just searching through this this bin of um, textile stuff so oh here's some white this might actually be nice some kind of off-white gauze or cheesecloth I'm not sure not sure which let's 
give it a, let's give it a go. Just for a little bit of textile underneath this this bit here would be pretty, I think. So it's a little bit big. Yeah, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some fabric tack here. I will be doing another video showing you how to use some of the other the other things in the box that were not uh, flamingo 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 focused. That's so cute. Okay, there we go. And then um, off camera, I might put some little pockets on here. I'm not probably on this one. Um, we'll see. I might do like a belly band type of thing with out of some of the vellum uh, paper. So let's just move right along here and get these other panels on. So this is panel three inside. And so again, we're guarding this space here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fabric tack everywhere. really don't want to cover up the images too much so let's open this baby up and we're going to put on panel four inside which is this one these are great ones to put a pocket on because they don't have a they don't have a design on them they're just a pat a little bit of a background pattern so same thing on this side we're going to go ahead and put a bead here we've got a little bit of a gusseted um, uh, spine there i just um, scored the envelope another quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch um, next to the original um, fold line. Yeah, perfect. And then we've got panel five, which is this one. This is another great one because we could put pockets on here which again, I'll probably do off camera. Wow, that's really wonky. Look at that. What happened there? Huh. That's kind of strange, but that's all right. We will work with it. I'm not sure how that happened. Why we've got this extra bit here. Probably just my brain. I'm gonna get a little bit of the art glitter glue here instead because I feel like I'm getting too much art glitter or fabric tack in that spot for my liking. I just have to move fast because that art glitter glue will dry. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and set that there. And I'm not sure what happened here at all. It must be the way I put the envelopes together. Maybe they weren't completely even. I'm not sure, but again, that is okay. I think this is over the line. It's probably part of my problem. It's actually over that gusset. That's what happened. Oh well. <laughs> just giving you just giving you an idea of how you can use these bits. So where did that heart one go? I really liked that one. This would be really pretty here. We could actually make a little pocket here. Why don't we do that? We'll find something to slide in there. Oh, maybe we could get a little flamingo in there. The standing, uh, uh, standing up flamingo. <laughs> I probably will hold on to this and give it to her for like her birthday or something, so. I will do the, the other decorating off camera. There's our little flamingo. So adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, and then, oh, look at that. We got some excess. Let's turn that off. Not a problem. Something was not cut straight. There we go. Whoops. Not a problem. We work with what we have. And then this is the outside. Still have some white showing. There we go. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna put this one on here. Awesome, that's gonna be great with something on it as well. I think I'll put a pocket on that one. And then I'll ink this up and hopefully I can kind of disguise what happened. I think I just didn't get, this wasn't cut straight and I didn't get it far enough over. So again, healing still. <laughs> so this is sticker paper here. I forgot to tell you which was the light paper. No, I can't remember. I think this was the lighter paper in terms of weight. So let's get this on. Perfecto. So now my closure, I really wanted the closure underneath, um, underneath everything, but that's okay. It happens. So we are going to, let's see, we are doing okay on time. So let me go ahead and see if I can put something else together here really quick in terms of some pockets. So we could put a pocket on here. That's a little bit blase for that. What about that one? Um, bum, bum. See, this is the vellum. The vellum would be really pretty as a pocket. So let me see if I can find a piece that would go there. Yeah, let's put a vellum pocket here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get my pencil. Mark that. And then I'll we'll go about here. So I'm just going to reach over here and cut this real quick. I think I want to punch that though. Give it a little thumb notch. I need to grab my, my um, oh, that was, that's the big one. I don't want something that big. Hold on. And then I need to grab a piece of scrap paper here. My punches don't tend to want to punch through a vellum very well, so I just like to use a piece of paper underneath it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my get my little notch in there. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. And put a couple pockets on and then we'll call it a day. So I will hope I hope that you'll check out your creative studio if you have not already. Um, you know, I don't I wasn't, this is not my favorite box, but that's just because I'm not a Flamingo fan and not really a tropical fan either, but that does not mean it's not beautiful or useful or right up somebody else's alley. So um, they have fantastic boxes that are affordable and full of goodies. So hold on, we're plugged up. Always plugged up. The art glitter glue is just not. Oh my gosh. I don't understand why this happens. Probably well, need to just clean that that um, nozzle out. Soak it in some water. Okay, we're done with you, art glitter glue. So I do have some Barely Arts as well. So let me give this one a try. It should be fine. Yeah. Barely Arts is, um, is really nice to work with. I just actually purchased this. I used to use it a lot. And then I tried to focus on the Art Glitter Glue, which is just not friendly to me. There we go. There's our little vellum pocket. So, oh, we could probably stick a die cut in there too, just for for the sake of, um, of fun here. I don't really care for that one. You certainly do not have to ink these. I just like the, I like to tone down some of that brightness. So let's go ahead and stick that in that pocket. That's adorable. Look at that. And then let's see if we can find something else small that can go in there. How about a pineapple? Pineapples are cute. So 
sweet. <laughs> I saw these feathers. I thought the feathers would be fun to put like just on this, this uh, pocket. Let's just do it. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that cheesecloth would be, would be good there. strings here that are gonna be a problem okay guys I'm gonna call it a day I will finish decorating this and putting the closure on and then I'll you'll be able to see it at the photos in the photos at the end of the video take care my friends bye bye